Hey guys, um, today I'm going, well, I'm, I'm kind of sick, but I'm going to try and manage to show you how to install Pipelight for Linux. And uh, basically what Pipelight is, is it uh, installs the Windows version of Silverlight on your computer, and then it interfaces with the browser, uh, with your normal Linux browser, uh, whether it be Firefox or Chrome or whatever, um, to let you watch like Netflix and basically that's it because nothing else uses uh, Silverlight anymore because everyone sees how much it sucks so um, <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm not going to be running Arch uh, as I am right now I'm actually going to be showing you in Ubuntu uh, for the new users but if you are running Arch and you have Yoort um, all you have to do to install it is just type Yoort hyphen s and then a uh, pipe light and then hit enter and you're fine and then you just have to skip ahead to the part of the video where I show you how to configure your browser but uh, if that's not you and you don't run Arch then just uh, follow me into the screencast and enjoy as the uh, audio quality improves alright, bye okay so now that we're on our Ubuntu box uh, this is just my Zubuntu install um, but it has apt-get, so you can follow these steps in any Ubuntu-based system, or Linux Mint, or whatever. Um, so, what we're going to do is just, uh, I'll have these um, commands in the description, and these are just straight off of the um, website of the creators of this utility, so I'm just going to copy and paste this. Uh, these are just going to add a couple uh, repositories. The first one, I believe, is for um, the wine dependencies. Um, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, sorry, I have a different password. I forgot. Um, just hit enter. Okay. And then you're going to add another repository, um, and then this is for the actually the application itself, um, pipelight. Pipe and then you're just going to paste that in. Uh, to, sorry, I, I forgot to paste it in. You just you could right click or pay, and paste, or you could hit sh uh, Shift Control uh, V, and then Enter. And uh, I'm just going to make this a bit wider, and then Enter again. <clears throat> and then you're going to run an app get update. Uh, and this might take a bit, or a, a while. Okay, so when that's done, uh, you're just going to run sudo apt-get install pipelight. I guess I don't really need to copy and paste this, but whatever. Uh, hit enter, and then Y. Look at all these libraries that we're installing. Mmm, gotta love it. And this is probably going to take a while. Okay, so once that's done taking forever, uh, you're just going to go through this end cursor thing. Uh, you could scroll all the way down, but you, the, all you have to do is just hit the right arrow and enter. And that's just going to install some uh, the TTF fonts for... Uh, uh, sure, I accept. It's just going to uh, basically install the Microsoft fonts. Okay, so my fonts failed to install, but everything else was just took care of itself. Not going to really worry that much about the fonts. Okay, so then we're just going to enable Silverlight. So uh, run sudo pipelight pl plugin enable Silverlight. So just paste that in, enter, and now it's enabled. And uh, if you're ever running into problems with uh, pipelight. What you can run is actually I'll just run pipelight plugin. Okay, so to see all the arguments, you just type pipelight plugin, and uh, this will this is basically just the help files. And uh, if you want, you you can list enabled. Um, so just of course running as root. Uh, type sudo pipelight hyphen plugin hyphen hyphen list hyphen enabled and uh, that'll show you everything that's running 
So like if Silverlight isn't running, then you know that you have to enable Silverlight. Okay, so now we're actually going to need to uh, install a user agent switcher. And uh, your user agent is basically just what tells um, websites what operating system you're running and everything. So I'm just going to go to Tools, Add-ons. Uh, if you're running Chrome, you can find another Chrome user agent sw switcher. And uh, the steps should be pretty similar. So I'm just going to look up user agent switcher. OK, so now we're just going to install the user agent switcher. Just click install and then restart. <coughs> Excuse me. OK, so now you should have all your uh, you should have a user agent switcher on here. Um, doesn't look like it's showing up so uh, if it's not on your bar I'm just gonna go to customize and then drag user agent switcher down to wherever I'm, I'm gonna put it in my uh, bar down here if you don't want it down there you can put it like over here just right click customize and then uh, it, it'll get out here and then uh, edit user agents you can actually download a bunch of lists for other user agents but uh, I have one in the description that works guaranteed on Netflix. So I'm just going to add a new user agent. And I'm just going to call it Netflix, uh, just for simplicity. And then I'm just going to delete everything here. Uh, so delete. And then I'm just going to paste in the thing that I have. And that again, that'll be in the description. So this will tell them that we're using Windows. Just hit OK. Uh, OK again. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to sign into Netflix. So I'm just going to cut this part out. OK, so I was messing around with it for a while. And um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I kept on getting this weird error code 1001. The gist of it was Silverlight couldn't work. Uh, and all I had to do was just run a. Uh, have to get dist upgrade. I just had to fully upgrade my system, and uh, then it worked again. So if you're running like an out of date system, you're probably gonna have to update in order to get it to work. So finally, uh, I can click on Netflix, and you can see my great taste in uh, TV shows and whatnot. So I'm just gonna play Firefly. And I don't want to get sued for copyright, but, uh, yep, it works. So, there you go. Alright guys, so that's about it. Um, hope that was informative, and, uh, I'll be trying to put out some more, uh, I'll be trying to put out content on a more regular basis, so if you liked what you saw, maybe you want to check out my channel, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.